Hello, campers! Welcome to Camp Lolly, where you get to create a little bit of your own heaven and share in some of mine. Today, we are looking at the new springtime scenery break event, and in particular, the Misty Scavenger Hunt. And we have a few events going on right now, but the Gyrodite Scavenger Hunt, Misty Scavenger Hunt, is happening now from May 21st at 11 p.m. through May 29th at 10.59 p.m. And we are going around and we are collecting these little gyrodites. And it is extremely fun. And they are making much of this event. And there are a few key strategies that I want to show you. I'm very, very excited to show you this because I think that you're going to be greatly blessed from it. But I want you to go through this pamphlet here that you see. You can pause it after we go through all of this and just look through it and just make sure that you understand everything. If you have any questions, do leave them down in the comments. Just basic information on what you need to be doing and crafting. But I want to go over a few crafting things with you to make sure that you know how to use the game properly. So when you go into craft on the Misty Scavenger Hunt, I want you to, these are all the elements that you can get, that you can craft, and I want you to go to where you preview the item. If you click on the preview, what happens is it brings that item up and you can see whether or not the animals, the villagers, interact with those particular crafting items. And you see here, this is the big pond. Now the little pond, there is no interaction for the, for the villager, but for the big one, there is. And here is the window that has some action, but not necessarily with the villager itself. That's the wallpaper, and it's really quite lovely. Um, these are uh, pots for flowers and plants. And you have the pebble rug. And this is quite small, so that you know. And then we're going to have the bush with the, the dew drops on it, which is adorable, but no interaction with the animals. But with the with little overhang, building, you do have two animals that are going to interact underneath that overhang and it is quite lovely. Now this info card I got on Reddit and I'm going to go through this a few times. I'm going to show it a few times to you throughout this video plus my gameplay so that you can see examples. But you can see that you have the ability to collect 670 gyrodites in your gameplay from the dates that it is from the beginning to the end. These gyrodites reappear every four minutes for a maximum of 18 at any time. And you want to check in all of these places and you it has an easy method here for you which is just lovely. But I'm going to be showing you in my gameplay in a moment all the different areas and how to collect and different strategies that you can do to maximize and optimize your gameplay. So let's do it. So we shake the trees and we get the little gyrodites. Make sure that if you have a bug in the tree that you get the bug first because if you go to get the gyrodite you are going to lose the bug. So make sure you go for the bug first and then go ahead and get the gyrodite. Now if you have butterflies or other bugs, go ahead and make sure and get those because the gyrodites are not going to go anywhere. So make sure to do that. And then I go to the next place. I'm going to get my shells and then I'm going to search. Now you want to make sure, this is very, very important, because if you go back to the little info card that I had there from Reddit, it clearly states that you want to go from the bottom, from left to right, 
but I'm also telling you, you want to go all around the entire place because these little gyrodites are everywhere. They're absolutely everywhere. And even if you, they're like hiding, hiding in a place that you would not necessarily think to see them. So we're just going to go around to each area. And one of the big places that you are going to find a bunch of these gyrodites is at the OK Motors. So I'm going to show you that and I have a few photos as well. And what I did is every four minutes, so what I did is I went back to the OK Motors and I found a whole slew of these gyrodites there. I was just stunned. And so, you know, you want to go ahead and make sure that you're fulfilling all of your activities that you need to, uh, to fulfill. So if you, if you find a lost book, make sure to bring that down to your animal for your villager so that you can fulfill that because you don't know if there's some kind of algorithm of some sort that is going to then give you more. So you see my little camp caretaker is getting me more gyrodites. So you really want to make sure that you are uh, just maximizing your gameplay as much as possible so that you're not having to use any of your leaf tickets. Now here's a really good example with Bitty. So I've gone back to my camp, I fulfilled my last book, and Bitty has decided to give me a gift. And in this gift, I get three new gyrodites. Okay, so this is a very, very good. Now let's break it down even further. So you're going to go from your campsite and you're going to travel to OK Motors. When you go to OK Motors, and I'm going to show you in a moment all that that looks like, um, I want you to then go to, you're going to go to Lost Lure Creek. And then after Lost Lure Creek, you're going to go to Marketplace. And after Marketplace, you're going to go to Sunburst Island. After Sunburst Island, go to the Saltwater Shores. And after Saltwater Shores, you're going to go to Breezy Hollow. Get all of that done. And then I want you to then go to your cabin and see if there are any animals that have any errands or things that you need to collect, okay? And then you're going to return to your campsite. Now, look at all these areas that you want to check out to make sure whether or not there are any gyrodites there. So, behind campers, picnic tables, bushes, plants, anything like that. And I'm going to show you that here. So, check this out. We're at OK Motors. I had three gyrodites right there and look at, I've got them all over the place. I was just absolutely stunned. You want to make sure that you go from the left to the right and you want to check absolutely everywhere because you just really don't know. Sometimes they just go missing from your eyesight and you see I would have missed that one right there if I had not gone all the way over to the right. And then what I've done so I remember every four minutes kind of going through it. Don't even worry about the animal at this time. But there it is, shake that tree, get that gyrodite out, and then make sure there's not one behind the camper, because sometimes they're behind the campers. Not always on this particular tree, but oftentimes they are. So you really want to make sure that you are getting all of them. And sometimes back there on the ground or in the middle here, you will find them and they just sometimes can escape your eyes. So you want to give them a really good look and you can see here in this photo at OK Motors I had three gyrodites. They're so adorable and in another one I had come back after oh 10 or 12 minutes and you can see that I had four. I had four right in front of me and probably throughout, from when I went left to right, I had oh, 012 or 15 that I had picked up. So it is really quite something at the OK Motors is the place to go for these gyrodites. 
Now it is your turn to go and see how many you can find and leave me lots of comments down below. I want you to make sure that you are checking all of these areas off and looking in all the nooks and crannies. I want to hear about all the different items that you're crafting. Leave me lots of comments down below and until the next video, have tons of fun everyone and this is Lolly signing off. Ciao!